Hello, happy people, and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3, or as the folks in Cambridge call it, the Z3. I'm Mark, and today I've skipped my usual hilarious pre-introduction to spend a little more time on our Zed of the Week, sent to me recently by a young man named Oliver from Ontario, Canada, who's really done some pretty cool modifications to the interior of his car. And I wanted to spend a little more time on that today. Uh, and then we're gonna get to a product review of a really great product that I've recently used on New Blue. So without further ado, check out the Z of the Week. Oliver's car is a 1999 2.8 liter five speed, pretty standard in the outside. He's done some suspension upgrades, but really mainly what he's done is a lot of work on the interior all himself, starting with a standard interior with just a newer head unit. He's gone ahead and added a homemade wooden steering wheel, a homemade wooden shift knob, which is weighted with brass round stock, a homemade wooden handbrake lever, a homemade brass light switch, a brass garage door button. He self-designed a retro instrument cluster face modeled after a 58 vet, very cool. He painted the climate control knobs with faux brass rings, added a voltmeter, an oil pressure gauge, also with faux brass rings. He installed a compass, he had to remove all the speakers to get that to work. He has real brass veneer around the push button panel faux snakeskin shifter and handbrake boots, and finally, aluminum pedals. Very nice. Oliver, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful car with us. Folks, I'd love to put another special together featuring viewers' cars for Thanksgiving, the upcoming holiday. If I could get six or seven of you to send in good quality pictures of your cars, I would put that together. How to do that is all in the description, so check it out. I really look forward to getting that going. We've probably featured 30 or 40 cars so far on Zed of the Week and other specials we've done. I know there's more of you out there with beautiful cars. Please send them our way. Now today, we're going to do a product review of this, Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Professional Vinyl and Rubber Cleaner and Conditioner. I used this on a video a month or two ago when I had to clean the water out of my taillights and the trim around that was looking pretty rough. I used this and got great results, so I'd like to do a brief video about this. Pretty simple to use, but this is really, really good stuff, so let's go ahead and get to that. So the Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Professional Vinyl and Rubber Cleaner and Conditioner in the 16 ounce size. I bought mine a couple months ago off of Amazon for about $18. It was sold directly by Amazon. Now I checked it today and it's $12, but it's sold through a third party who's charging $8 shipping. So it's gonna cost around $20. I still think it's worth it. I guess the price of everything is going up. There's other places you could get it. Uh, just take a look online. But again, this will cost you about $20 right now through Amazon. It sounds strange, but until you think about it, you don't really realize how much vinyl and rubber is on your car. You've got all kinds of seals around the windshield, around the windows, at the top of the doors, a ton on the interior, and in a bunch of other places. And of course, you want it to look nice, but you also want it to protect it from the sun because that's what will eat up these seals and most of them are very expensive and they're very difficult to replace. So you really kind of want to avoid that. And now that all our cars are getting to be 20 something years old, it's going to be more of a problem as time goes on, especially if you're unable to garage your car. Uh, as far as how to use this product, it's very simple. It's like any other product like this. You could spray it directly on the surface. That's what I did with the tires. But of course, for small areas, and I'm gonna show you uh, this seal between the A-pillar and the windshield, you just wanna spray it into a uh, clean microfiber towel and then just go ahead and apply it. You can buff this out afterwards if you want more of a matte finish, or you can just apply it and leave it if you want it a little bit shinier. Now, it's not gonna look as shiny as an Armor All product that many of you have probably used in the past. It's gonna be a little bit uh, less shiny, less artificial looking than that, a little more natural looking, which is one of the things I like about it. So let's go ahead and take a look. 
So again, we're gonna do a small section of the weather stripping between the A pillar and the windshield. So we'll just go ahead and zoom in on that. Okay, so we've shaken up the Meguiars and just go ahead and put a little bit on your microfiber cloth. And just go ahead and apply it to the weather stripping. And you're gonna see, of course, some oxidation come off of there because it is a cleaner protectant. Wipe any excess off your windshield. Okay, and you can see the difference between the two surfaces. The treated part is much shinier, but not artificially shiny. And then the untreated surface is dull and hazy. Hey folks, I really like the Meguiar's Mirror Glaze product. It is a little pricey compared to similar products, but I think that size bottle is going to last you a long time. So I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal. Hey, if you found this content useful, as always, please smash that like button below. And until next time, drive safe.